about building a relationship. And at the end of the day, you can't trust no nigga you met yesterday. For real. You can't put your life on line for no nigga you met yesterday, bro. Hey everybody, welcome to Pebbles Rights. This episode three, it's about time. Like for real. It's about time. Uh, it's been a minute. Um, I wanted to bring this out a while. It's been a while now, but you know, we're finally here. We're finally here. So what is episode three about? It's about writers and blogging. So everybody who is a writer can be a blogger, but at the same time, not every blogger can be a writer. Where does my debate lie? All right. So what is your purpose for blogging as a writer? I think this is one question that might be on a few bloggers' minds. Like, what am I going to do with blogging? Um, I could get a Wattpad. I could um, I could write this stuff in my Google Docs. I could write this stuff in a Microsoft Word. Um, I, could, I could use everything else but blogging. Why would I blog as a writer? What would my purpose be in going to do it? Yes, I write. Hmm, maybe I could share it with people. But what exactly do I do and um what do I do when someone engages with my work on my blog what am I supposed to do with that um and I think it's just a process of allowing yourself to understand that as a writer when people are engaging going into blogging is a form of you know sharing your art sharing your experiences sharing stories sharing um pieces and and getting feedback sharing pieces to make others feel like whatever it is that they're going through is something that can be related to. Somebody else has been through it. Maybe somebody sees a new art to writing through the way that you write. Um, they're entertained. They're educated. They're, um, their way that they think is expanded. So keep that in mind, writers. Now to my writers who are thinking, okay, the only stuff that I currently write is with the intention to publish. Um, how do how do I know that I'm not sharing too much? I think a start is to turn little things in your blog, little themes in your work, little themes in your book, to blog posts. Um, let's say that you have a character who goes through a certain situation. You could make a blog post of that character in that small situation and then like analyze it in so many different ways. Go. You know what it you know which direction the situation went with when you've done this book for the final time. But have fun with it. Like um ways that you want you know that you wouldn't write for a book, write for your blog. Make it fun. Um my publisher wouldn't approve of this, but um my publisher does not have to approve this blog post. So let me have fun with the ways in which the story can go. With the way that this character reacts. Um, maybe in the midst of this whole drama. My character decides to go and dye her hair pink. Um, but that detail would not be the most profitable for me. If I was to put it in a book. So now I decide to do all these things with these situations that my character is in. Um, maybe in the book my character goes towards this dude. And then in the blog post. She's torn between the two, and she goes for the dude that she doesn't go for in the book. But your readers don't know that, but they're having fun with places that your story could have been, but didn't go. Another thing is to <coughs> turn the things that didn't make it into your book. It almost seems similar to the previous one, but take things that had to cut be cut out from your script, your manuscript, and... Play with those on your blog. Um, use the smallest prompt lines. You know, the smallest. You take some of the things that didn't make it into your book as prompts. Um, maybe you'll take the first line of a certain paragraph and decide, okay, um, I'm going to use this line to inspire myself to write this mini-series. It turns into a six block series. You can, you constantly have people on the edge of their seats waiting for the next week or the next two weeks when you're going to bring out the next part of that story on your blog. 
you could consider creating a profile for this person. You could consider taking the next line of a, a person's comment to make the next part of the next story. Um, there's so many things you could do with the stuff that didn't make it into your final book. There is um, places that you can take it. Um, you can also take little things that are supposed to be in your book as ex as writing exercises um, that you do on your blog live and you allow yourself to make little typos, make little incoherent situations and let people critique that and be like, I was just, you know, just let it be, just let your blo blog be a playground. In addition to this, if you happen to be an author, because I've made the assumption that all writers are author at this moment, um, in the way that I've spoken, but I'm not making that assumption. I'm just saying, you know, if you are somebody who is um, planning to publish this yes, work, but specifically for my authors out there, I do have a resource for you. It's called Mixtus Media. You can find her on Instagram. She has a website or a blog, either way, and she's got several resources on um, ways that you can... Um, use your platform on Instagram as a writer, um, ways you can use Twitter as a writer, ways in which you can use different social networks or set social platforms to promo your book, um, ways that you can build up hype for your book, ways that you can use your book to um, engage your readers and stuff like that. So it's called Mixus Media. I will be, um, Mixus Media, I will be sure to link that down below. So look out for that. Another intimidating aspect for writers, I believe, if they're going into blogging, is every piece I write, people are going to judge me that this is how I write everything. Um, if they were going to get a book from me, this is how it's going to look. And you mustn't pressure yourself with that kind of thinking um, too much because, like I said, if you turn your blog into a fun space that you challenge yourself to do writing exercising, do writing prompts, um, short story prompts, um, do a writing series or a little six part story series or something on your blog and you have people keep um, that keep on coming back. I think rather it's left for you to show people how engaging you can be rather than how you do write. Um, although there will be an element of I am judging how you make these posts and what you write to kind of judge how you think. So I think rather than putting that pressure on you on people judging your writing ability based on your blog, make your blog the type of space that you want for you. Yes, it's about the people who are reading, but first of all, you. Um, how would you take, what direction would you take a story? Um, what's your thinking when you think of this character in this situation? Um... And, and, you know, if you, if you happen to have some personal experience, I mean, being a writer is a pretty personal journey. And I don't mean it in the sense of it's about me. I mean, as in the way that you address topics, the way that you address things in your writing, it hits people at a personal level sometimes. And, and I feel like make it like that. Um, you could turn it into a space like that where, I don't know, maybe your character faces, um, this situation. I'm talking about situations because it really is sometimes about tackling something that somebody's thinking about or tackling something that somebody has never really got the chance to understand or wants to understand. So, you know, don't be limited by what a blog is supposed to be. You make the, your blog what your blog is meant to be. And, you know, obviously, if you're, if you're filling out the space, obviously take that as an opportunity. Again, they don't have to judge you if you're using people's comments and people's feedback to say okay this is what works oh okay this is the direction i can take my blogging oh this is what engages my readers oh, okay me and my readers share this like we share this common thing we share this thing that we we're both cool about so yeah so i just say take you know take your blog as an opportunity to play around